Alright, so here's a quick video on how to use the programming software for the Yesu VX8R and let's go with it. So, we plug in our USB cable and then we plug it into the radio. Simple, straightforward. So, the software I have up on screen is the, uh, it's called VX-8 Programmer and what you want to do is come along and these are your memory frequencies and for example this top one is my uh, my repeater that I use all the time you simply type in the repeater or simplex whatever works put in the offset Put in the mode FM, maybe a little name for it. Tone, do you need another tone? Bunch of little options in there, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, obviously your power setting, do you want to skip it when it's in scanning? Attenuate, you don't really need to do any of that. What I do like is groups. For this, you can set up a bunch of different banks. And I've got a couple in here. I've got my Newberg group, just a couple things I like to uh, use. Just Orange County, a bunch of other repeaters in the area, uh, police, EMS, fire, that type of thing. I've got a bunch of those in. And I've got the local airport, just for hoots and haas. Um, and you can go through and you can add as basically as many as you could possibly think. Uh, the Yesu will hold uh, literally 900 frequencies. Uh, I don't know that you'd ever really need that many. And once you do that, okay, so I've got everything in there and I want to upload it to the radio. Simple enough. So what it does is you want to go up to communications and I want to, well let's just get data from the radio just so I can make sure that I've got Nothing changed. Yep, it'll overwrite it. And then it tells you what to do. Plug the cable in, and what you want to do is press and hold the FW button, your bottom one right there, and the power button as you turn on. And what that does is it brings you into clone mode. So there it goes. You want to click the OK button. And then it's saying press the band button. So we're going to press the band button. And there we go. Now it's sending all the data to the computer. I made a couple adjustments on my radio with frequency, so I'm going to actually update my, uh, my giant list in there. All right, so we have our entire list now that you've entered in. And you're like, OK, I'm ready to upload. So we want to go to communications, send data to radio and then we get our instructions on screen. So again, we want to press side button and our power button as we turn on. So there we go. Now it, it has entered clone mode. And the instructions on the screen say press mode. So we're going to press mode. It's now saying wait. And it says once it says wait, go ahead and press OK. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And now we are receiving the data on the radio. And once it's sent all the data, the radio will turn on as if though it's a uh, ready to rock and roll. And so now we are we are in. And I've got all my frequencies. And they're in with their name tags and ready to rock and roll. This is K2FR testing. And that's it.